Live from the four where a lot of niggas can't go, man. 63rd crazy, but 64th raised. If you still hanging on your block, bro, you better have a purpose out there, bro. Cause this shit old, bro. You had to do something. You can't go back to where you from. And the only way you can't go back to where you from, you do some snake, shit, some fake, shit, or some Jake. Shit. Them three things. That's what my little brother Detail got shot at. He got shot right here, crossing the alley. He fell right here by the tree. He ain't never did shit to nobody. Shit, he never even claimed the game. That opened my eyes right there. See, I got the 1228 RP detail on my neck, man. It's not no gang, it's my family. Like, your family got a last name, so that's basically your legacy. 100%. Some people who get drafted in the streets, they don't really grow up off family, so they, they, they become their legacy. Not saying that that's my legacy, but unity bigger than anything. So push the peace. Let y'all enemies start within y'all self, bro. Fix yourself first, brother. Some trips not meant for everybody. Sometimes you gotta travel by yourself. You out here dancing and you ain't no gangster for real. You got a place for your boy. Man, keep playing. See if you come back. They to come up, man. Same since day one. I Shout out Young Will here in the trenches with it. Young Will out of trenches. How you doing? How you doing? Look, this is the eye of the trenches. On the bad side of Cali, man. Six three hundred. Uh, you know how this shit go. Cross west across California, same community, nothing changed. For sure. So you say six three hundred? What that mean, man? Six three hundred south, right there. That's the strip. Six three hundred. Sixty third. Sure. That's where we from. Who I got on this camera with me, brother? Move six three four zero. Anything sure. I do, not gang orientated. It's family proven. It's strictly music, man. You say family proven, proven strictly music. Family proven strictly music, man. Everything I do is for the fam. So, you know, we could have shot this vlog anywhere. Why you choose right here, brother? That's why I grew up at, bro. So, what this neighborhood mean to you, man? Everything, bro. This is my lifeline, bro. This is what started me, shit. I ain't really grew up over here. I grew up over that shit. That's 64th side right there, shit. That's what. That's a whole different side? Yeah, hell yeah. That's where a lot of the other guys be at, but shit. Dang. I be on the tree a lot. So uh, so it's like block to block over here? Yeah, yeah, I be doing this shit. Like, they say shit, and I know. What's wrong, man? You say what? My stump of grounds where I've been stumped forever. I got footprints in his bitch. Free he Deucey. Say. <laughs> free Deucey, free Scum, no free Z. Free ZZ, free Lizzie. For sure. I see you just listed a few guys from over here. So like, yeah. who's some important figures that came from this neighborhood that impacted you personally? My nigga Squad Money. That's my homie Ball, BSC Squad Money. Ball was one of the first niggas around here rapping. Before I ever had music, I was making music, listening to bro now make music and shit. But my nigga Zay, he really made the way shit. He got, he got, he got us in the dough. Like turned us up on a different level like, Made this shit real wide, so now it's like shit. As far as like motivation, I just, I'm motivated by any nigga doing this shit for they people, for real shit, cause that's why I'm doing this shit for my people. 100%. For sure. So like, is it really family? You said my people, so I know you said like, this all family. So like, was it like really, really family oriented over here? Like, yeah, for the most look, part? look, most of these niggas over here related, bro. Like literally, most of the niggas over here related, bro. Like cousins, brothers. Niece, nephew, it's some, it's some type of blood tying it, but yeah, before even before like niggas knew they family was over here, it was still like love, bro. Like so. it was still love, nigga. We this the hood we always was with anybody so, in this. So place. it wasn't necessarily like a hood; it was community. Yeah, for sure, definitely community. Cause it's too many people. It, it's, you got Migos, you got Mexicans over here, you got black people over here. So that it's already too much going on and too much confusion. So in order to keep the confusion, little we. Just literally stay to our circles and we accept anybody in, but we just try and be more, be more lenient. For and sure. Accept anybody that so come like through this shit. So like embracing in the way. For sure, we yeah. embrace anybody that come through this shit. Not no goofy niggas though, not no fake yeah. niggas, none of that. We we accept you as you come. The image you, the your first impression gonna be your best one, bro. So. Hundred percent. But yeah. So it's like. I ain't gonna ask too many questions, but this is just another question I had right now, brother. So like, what this neighborhood known for though? You know, like every neighborhood got like an iconic thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the hunt is old fashioned donuts, yeah. things like that. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. This bitch really known just for like tacos and shit, bro. Like, I swear to God, bro, like, the taco spots over here. We got Zako Taco, yeah, like, sure. uh, Seti First and Pulaski. 
then we got all type of time. Come on, I'm gonna take all you to the right, So what, what's your favorite thing to big your back with, brother? <laughs> shit, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I be eating chicken and shit, bro. For sure. I'm more of a chicken type nigga, bro. I be, I eat baked chicken, fried chicken, shrimp, steak. But on some, my everyday go-to, if I can eat it every day, bro, I eat, uh, like some JJ's or some shit. Or sharks, What's sharks, up? sharks off sibling, sharks off sibling. Which one though? Uh, well yeah, yeah, I know which one you talking about. The one on the border. It's like by daughter in the Riverdale. Yeah, I yeah. was just gonna say it's like that right across from yeah. the Sigo. Yeah, they get trenches with the lemon pepper in that bitch oh, game. Yeah. You but need yeah. it till you sneeze. Well, I, I ain't gonna lie. See, that's why I got high blood pressure, man. I be eating a lot of seasoning. For sure. But yeah, the airport right here too. You see friends. Dang. It's hell right here. That's crazy. Hell yeah, yeah, airport literally probably like seven, eight minutes away. Wow. If you flying, if you flying. So yeah. we right on the main right now? Yeah, on the tray, bro. This the trenches, bro. This is the This my nigga Ken. So Ken been here forever, bro. Set out my nigga Ken, bro. Ken one of them ones. For sure. What's up, Shorty? What's up, Shorty? Hey, Ken, I'm doing my first vlog. Ken, tell him how long you been knowing me, Ken. Ken, how long you been knowing me, Ken? Tell him how long. Long time. This is Shorty. Since there was a Shorty. Wow. Hey, they say it ain't your hood at the G Station. Don't know you, man. Ken just has stores on stores. Huh? Who said that? The world say that. I say that. The I'm yeah. Yeah. born around here. You say born around here? Yep. No, yeah. I'm saying this valid is down. Yeah, no, nah, this for you sure. Bro saying? been here longer than me. He done help me out. I'm short on dollars. He giving me free juices. I'm going to grab some shit though. For sure. Y'all want, want something out of that? Hey, go get y'all the link too, man. Y'all out here bullshit. Go get y'all the link. They get them business away, bro. So, so as a away. shorty, what you would have grabbed out of here? I see we on the food heavy up Oh, here, I ain't going to lie. See, as a shorty, I was coming. See, he st this why I fuck with you, Ken. You still got these in here. Ken, the only store that down there still got these in the trenches, bro. 50 cent juices, bro. These motherfuckers probably 75 cent now, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. going on up. But yeah, see, now I'm more so on some bro shit. It's hot as hell outside. Shit. You gotta get you some water and shit, bro. You want water? Uh, yeah, yes, please. Spring water, get you a spring water, What's no fear five. Damn. Yeah. Oh my bad, bro. I forgot you on uh little No, nah, this for you too. That water make it make it it, it mess up your everything. Yeah. Shit get crazy, B. Put me up on something, bro. Yeah. Spring water distilled, no purified water. But yeah, bro, this shit, it's been like this forever, bro. For sure. Lucky, if I had time, I'd grab a Italian beef. I do got time, bro. Y'all got some Italian beef? Me ready, kid? Dang, he said he banging his back on the vlog. Yeah, this shit get real, B. This shit sure. get real, B. What's up, Koi? How you doing today? Go ahead and grab you something out this bitch. It's on me. <laughs> on my mama. I'm, I'm about to get my blunts. Oh, yeah. Do what to do. Hey! Sorry, Jackie. Hey, Jackie, where you been at? Uh -huh. <laughs> Stop running from the camera, Jack. You trench man. Uh -uh. Stop running. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. You got anything to say to the people in the community? How you doing? How you doing? For sure. I'm gonna lie, I look trenchless over okay. here, man. I'm safe over here with you, man. I know you safer than safe, man. Real safe. Safer than safe, man. Safer than safe, man, oh, but yeah. Insurance, bro. Oh, nobody even hang on, who the fuck still hang in the trenches, bro? Like, if you still hang on your block, bro, you better have a purpose out there, bro, cause this shit old, bro. This For shit sure. old, bro. I like riding traffic, sitting in the crib, smoking weed, playing the game, popping my shit with booties in the studio, shit like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The block For old, sure. School, what up, baby? How you feeling? Back in the days, yeah. Papa T's, come get you a slice, gang. Come grab you a slice from Papa T's, bro. So is the community still the same? It's still the same, but it's like, ain't none of the people here no more. You For feel sure. me? This, this, all the people that was here, they gone. How that make you feel though, bro? I used to be sad. Now I just rejoice off the memories. It used to make me sad, cause Unity bigger than anything, so 100%. just the thought about 
us not being able to be together, it kind of fucked me up for a long ass time. So I put in my head, some trips not meant for everybody. Sometimes you gotta travel by yourself. Facts. Break that down a little bit, man. Meaning, right now, right now, I'm going through some where it's only meant for me. So, if a motherfucker not around this shit right now, then it's not meant for them, you feel me? For sure. Certain things people not meant for. I could have all type of niggas around me at any given moment, but it's like, certain things not meant for people. So, by that being said, I'm just breaking away from all certain shit and just doing what's best for me sometimes, you know? For sure, like everything ain't meant for everybody. Facts, I get it. You still blazing? I'm good, brother, on that. This what, this what my niggas say used to live at. We used to, uh, we used to post up. <coughs> we used to post up. And that line you met. <coughs> right there and shit. Mm -hmm. huh? And it was cold. My fucking school went and folks crib. They used to stay right here. So what's some memories you got over here? Like, a, like a funny memory or something? Funniest memory? Here. Speaking of us standing right here, we standing right here. It's this little saying they say all black people look alike over here. So when some shit went down, motherfuckers will pull up on any black motherfucker they seen and do something to them. Yeah. I was little as hell, my homie Ball knew. It was, I don't know what happened, but some Migos pulled up on me tweaking, bro. My homie Ball know pull up. They get to trying to change the story. They're like, no, 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 because I'm little and four them big. They yeah. get to trying to change the story. Four them get to beat them. Man, they locked all us up. In the midst of all us getting locked up, I'm looking at all the motherfuckers for them to beat up. When I say everybody head busted, I black all type of shit. I'm, I'm like, all that happened in a matter of seconds. Over nothing, bro. Over confusion. Wow. Over confusion, bro. They didn't even know who I was. I didn't even know who they was. So to that point, was it racial tension growing up? Over no, there? it super was. It super was. Like, to this day, like, you probably still see some of that shit. Like, they used to snatch chains over here bad. So you will see Mexicans walk around with their chains inside their shirts and shit. But this shit changed, bro. All this shit changed. It so, ain't how it used to be. So it's like more inviting for like the Hispanics and the blacks. Yeah, for sure. Even even whites. I say white people good over here because it's like shit. For sure. It's a common ground, bro. It ain't too much. It ain't too much of one. It ain't too much of one race. You feel me? It don't make you feel like I gotta be uncomfortable. You can look out your door and see a white person. Look, you see white and black people over there. Wow. So are they gentrifying the area? They ain't gentrifying it. They about the Venezuelans over here. Ah. Uh, the Venezuelans all up and through here. Come on, we gonna walk around. I bet, yeah. The Venezuelans good. all through here. It's like, they got them at the police station down there. I feel like that shit fake fucked up what we got going on, cause it's like, we already got enough homeless motherfuckers over here, you know? Mm -hmm. So they ain't just chilling, they doing all type of wild. They shit. moving in cribs and shit, shit. We'd go to jail for. If it was us doing it, we'd be in jail. But they, yeah. But they doing that. Each his own, bro. I, ain't but I feel like it's it's bigger than just them doing it. They they don't know no better. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, I definitely ain't mad at the yeah. Vivians. I'm talking about the people. You say the Vivians. I ain't mad at the <laughs> Vivians. I'm talking about the people, Ski. The people sure. is disrespectful, bro. 100%. Dang, how y'all gonna look out for somebody and even help y'all people, bro? Facts. Because we ain't they people. That's all it That's is. fucked up. Hola. Yeah, you how you doing? Fuck him on in the camera, too? Yeah, you yeah, can get he getting a camera. How you feeling? Good, <laughs> yeah. I'm great. I'm great. You have a blessed day. Thank you, too. <laughs> Gotta get your Instagram. What's your Instagram? Matter of fact, fuck the Instagram. What's your number? <laughs> what up, little brody? What's up? Swung. Through the community. Yeah, but I love my community, bro. I don't gotta come over here every day, bro. They still gonna treat me the same, bro. I've been over here since I was. And they're five, six years old, bro. So, dang, you was pretty much born and raised right here. Back and forth, here in the low end. Shout out the low end, too. 39th. Oh, dang. I so took my tooth in IDB Wells. Oh, wow. Yeah, I had my shit tipped, but I got it fixed, though. I was in IDB Wells when I took my shit. Dang. Mm-hmm. So, you from the low end in here? 
Shit, the hundreds too. Shit, my family from 130. For shit, sure. 130. If I got family from 107, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been nationwide since a kid, bro. Like, for sure. Literally, nationwide since a kid. This just always been my stumping grounds. Like, this is where I've been known to be from. Facts. Nobody ever be like, oh, he from. They know my people from there, mm -hmm. but nah, not me. For sure. So, like, how you how you think people should go about that? Cause you know certain people like claiming multiple hoods. How you feel about that? Like your your opinion? Cause you a vet to me, so like your opinion matter. You get what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I claim multiple hoods because I'm certified. You feel me? Like I could claim six hundred. I could claim BDA cause I really grew up over there. You feel me? Like I've been back and forth my whole life. It ain't no gang shit. It's just like that's my family. For so sure. it's not no gang. It's my family. Like. Your family got a last name, so that's basically your legacy. 100%. Some people who get drafted in the streets, they don't really grow up off family, so they, they, they become their legacy. Not saying that that's my legacy, but I got homies and I'm from the trenches, bro. So, so you like, understand it pretty yeah, much. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But, yeah, so, shit. what you think one of the biggest misconceptions about your neighborhood, bro, that you would love to clear up? Oh, it's all Mexicans over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's all that they be saying it's all Mexicans over here and then we don't be on shit. It's dry over here. I don't know, bro. I be hearing a lot of shit about over here is just you gotta come see, bro. Like me personally, like like I said, I don't be outside standing on blocks of none of that goofy shit. So it's like I don't know. You feel me? I don't know what niggas be talking about. So to me, like you gotta come see how this bitch coming. For it ain't sure. all Mexicans over here, it's hella black people. So what's the, one of the biggest misconceptions about you, you want, you would say people think? Just all face, face first. Don't know. Everybody think I'm a snake and be trying to rob people and do shit I don't be on. Like, I don't be on certain shit. People, the old me is the old me, but to know me is to know me, bro. Like, that's old shit, bro. Um, Break that down a little bit, because that might go over somebody's head. Motherfuckers know me for being a certain type of person. But over time, in terms of life, you grow, bro. You you become a different person. You be get you become you you become older. You get to doing different things. So by me saying that is, I don't be in the streets no more. How a motherfucker think? Motherfucker see this vlog? I swear, oh he back outside. No, I'm just supporting my brother, bro. He want a story. I'm giving him a story, bro. This is our story. This is where we from. This is where we grew up. This the it's the lifestyle, bro. It's not a intentional thing. It's just the lifestyle, bro. For sure. For real, it's just a lifestyle. How important you think your voice is, man? I don't know, bro. I got people who tell me they be depending on me, bro. So I just hope it's as important as they say it is, bro. Like, For sure. I don't know, bro. I really can't tell you. I, just, I know, I know I'm, I mean a lot to a lot of motherfuckers, though. So if that counts shit, I'm important as hell. My voice important. For sure. I ain't gonna lie. This corn stand been here forever. This Mr. and Mrs. Antonio. I went to school with their kids, her Melinda now. What the, you say the corn stand? I don't even see it. It's right there. Oh, oh corn. Sure. Mr. and Mrs. Antonio. What's the biggest lesson this area taught you? Y'all try to stay up there, so. Uh, Trust shit, I ain't gonna lie, this bitch just taught me about trust, bro. It started out of everybody, gang, gang, then it turned to shit. Can't even trust the motherfucker, bro. Dang. So the biggest lesson I learned over here is trust, bro. You gotta be able to. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's why you gotta go listen to my song. I said I'm from the side, I ain't knew the snakes. It's funny what that Ruger make. Talk to my nigga shit like what we about to do today. Who we about to oop today. Stay with moms, move away. I ain't going to school today. I gotta bust a move today. I was selling weed to buy some shell toes. My brother on parole, but still strapped like Velcro. I'm from Cross Cali, now it's Valley. I'm on Melrose. Running from this hell hole like what I got a bell for. Cause you'll never make it here. They love you when you fake it here. That mm. real shit really real. You gotta buckle up and face it here. Survive with how you make it here. On my life. You gotta just. You gotta, man, bro, you gotta be one up at all time around this bitch, bro. Dang. Not even on no kill shit, but just like. You just gotta be on point. Yeah, just be on point. You never know who praying on your, who praying on you. You feel me? So you feel like this environment 
had a big impact on like your mindset, like your mental, you think? Yeah. This type of certain shit I've been through around her, like me not knowing certain niggas with certain type of people and then they turned out to be these type of people probably fucked my head up like for sure damn it gave me an outlook on life like damn this nigga ain't really that or that nigga ain't really this so it's like yeah that shit just become it become nerve-wracking bro when you when you figure out when you figure out niggas ain't certain things you get let down by the shit bro and it ain't even niggas in general because you might be looking up to an older nigga or something yeah. And you get old enough to figure out he ain't who he say he is. That's that'll a, break that's your heart. Down, you yeah, that'll me? break like, your heart for real. Pumping this whole time and you ain't even that, gang. So it's like, yeah. I learned trust. Yeah, like, biggest lesson learned is trust. Shit, yeah. be, be smooth on trust. But love your people too. This bitch taught me love your people too, folks. For sure. No matter what, we all, we all loved each other at a point in time. This is the first place I ever felt just like super love. Like fam like you that. You feel me? Besides my family, cause it was like, damn folk. Like. Cause it's like this, like, they say you pick your friends, but you kind of don't pick your friends in a way, if you ask uh, me. Your it, friends, yeah, is, they you, pick you, you Yeah, you know what I mean? It be cra it's crazy, cause now that you say that, it's like, when you picking your friends and shit, it be like, all right, I got a friend, let's just say, I done, been, I done been around all these type of people and only a few still around. Yeah. So the ones that still around was the ones that were strong enough to even say like, yeah, I'm with you, bro. 100%. The niggas who come, it's like they gave up. Dang. How they give up? I don't know. I guess people give up when they feel like there's they can't no, go no more. There's no hope. You feel no me? Way. I don't know, I ain't, I ain't felt that before. I be asking people like, uh, like, how do you give up? Like, how do you just say, like, I'm done? How do you do that? That mean you giving up on... I don't That's, know. You never know, bro. I'd have been in situations, bro. I was bottom of the barrel, bro. Woke up. Shit, tragic. It's crazy. I'm in a different position. I done been in situations to where I've been fucked up. But I was well, not, not fucked up when I was winning. Mm-hmm. And got fucked up fast, bro. Dang. All off. Life shit. It's life shit. So it's like me figuring it out. It probably took long because I ain't had no guidance. But so the, it was a lack of guidance and structure over here. You would say? No, nah, for sure. Definitely no structure. So definitely what, no guidance. So to that point. So like, what gave you your mindset? Then like. Hey, where Melly? Melly at work? Yeah. Oh, man. Y'all know me since I was a kid, right? Oh, yeah, man. I'm gonna have to get me some. Y'all got mangoes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna grab me some mangoes. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the school I went to down there, Mark. What? Oh, man. Me and they kids went to. Dang. Stop going we went, That's the school me and your daughters went to, Mark. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, man. What you got to say to the people in the community? Go, <laughs> Come spend Whoa. some money. What? Come right. spend some money with them. They got the best corner across Western, across <laughs> California. They right here, 65th and Francisco. All day. What time y'all come out, Mr. T so what you got to say to future Mook in 10 years? If you go back and watch this. Uh, you did good, bro. You outsmarted a lot of niggas. You played hard. You worked hard. You definitely worked smart. And way better than what you think you is, bro. Just give it a little more potential. Don't rush your process. Time is everything. Dang, that's deep. So why those words, bro? I feel like a lot of my, my youth aged out. I rushed a lot of shit rushed a lot of shit. That's why we feel grown. We feel old. We rushed a lot of shit. Now I'm at an age to it. I'm, I'm 28. Two years from 30. I can say shit. Keep going. By 40, who knows the situation. This is for me and my guy Ball used to be recording. My guy Squad Money, BSC. 
Shout out, shout out, my squad money BSC. We used to be recording right here. First nigga ever put me in the studio. So that's why where, where you record your first music at? Yeah. Wow. Right here. How how old was? It? Probably like fourteen. Probably like fourteen. Yeah, probably like fourteen. Dang. So um, what made you pick up the mic? You know. I used to walk past the C4 and I'm every day and that bitch record. I used to just not even see him, just hear him. I was just him, and then I used to be freestyling and shit, just tweaking. The phone number was always telling me rap. That's what my little brother DT got shot at. Damn. That's what changed the whole epidemic of this shit. You say who? My little brother Deontay Malone, DT. Wow. So right here he got shot? Yeah, he got shot right here, house in the alley. He fell right here by the tree. He ain't never did shit to nobody shit. He ain't never even claimed the game. That opened my eyes right there. How old were you when you took that loss, brother? 16. 16? Wow, bro. My condolences again. Yeah, Maybe sure. most high be pleased. But like, at that age, you know, I'm getting shot right right where you got to walk at, grow, grow up at every day. Like, what did that do to you? Like, mentally, like, how did that change you and mold you? I can't even explain it, bro. It had me acting different, like. I just know the person I used to be, shit, I wouldn't even him no more. Over time, they say, you notice your change, shit. It ain't like I just became an evil ass person and shit, but it was like, I just didn't understand life no more. Like, motherfucker, just kill little bro. Like, he ain't never did shit to nobody. You would think the niggas who was out here really tweaking around that time would have been the nigga who got killed. Mm -hmm. So it was like, man, they killed the regular random motherfucker. That opened through the wave off, like, yeah, nah, this shit ain't even about that no more. This shit about some whole other shit. Wow. Yeah. So, like, you feel like you got a better understanding on life or you still trying to figure it out? I'm still figuring it out, bro. Little, the little understanding I do got, it ain't shit compared to what I should know, bro. For sure. Literally. It's way more. It's way more to this life shit. We just know. We just know certain parts. We don't know everything. Yeah, we don't know everything. No, I just heard them motherfuckers stumping their gas. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's one thing. Don't stop your gas riding through here, bro. Uh, what's a tutorial about uh, how you should come through a neighborhood, man? Call. If you don't know nobody over there, bro, call. That's For sure. All. I don't, shit, I don't know what nobody will do to you, but me personally, I don't go nowhere without calling, bro. Too many kids out here with fast guns, bro. These are motherfucking things. What's the difference between your generation and the new generation when it comes to the, to everything? Not just the streets, but everything. What's you, what would you say is the biggest difference? Shit, my generation, shit. It was more like, more clean cut, more like, uh, cause we still have, we ain't have structure, but we still have motherfuckers who have structure around. So For we sure. knew right from wrong. These motherfuckers, they don't know right from wrong. And they don't give a fuck what's right and wrong. So can you judge them then? I, me personally, I ain't never been judgmental. My little cousin, bad as hell. He be with me every day, but guess what? I don't be judgmental. I just try and show him a different route. Facts. To that point, you say how like, somebody with you every day they could be bad so do you think you know how like a lot of people catch stuff because of other people do you think that should be that way i mean because of who you be around like you know what i mean just depending on the type of people you dealing with bro because i ain't gonna lie it'd be a point in time where people would be like uh you hang with them, you with them. Yeah, it be points of times like that. But me, like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't see myself just like, oh, yeah, you fuck with them niggas. Fuck you. Ooh, like, I ain't never been that type of nigga. I ain't gonna fuck with you. Que pasa, I ain't gonna fuck with you. I ain't gonna give you no, uh, I ain't gonna give you no leverage to make you feel like you a part of what I got going on or you a problem to me, so. Just me saying that, I'm not gonna even put myself around you, but I ain't gonna definitely be on no fuck you type shit. I'm just not on no, I'm not trusting you. For Back sure. to what I said about over here. 100%. I'm not gonna trust you. You can you can fuck with who you wanna fuck with. But me trust you, no. Me and two with you, nah, we ain't beefing, bro. 
That's what Just That's what you chose ways. You feel me But I ain't fucking with you man For sure Hell yeah, yeah, though bro So I know I've been asking A lot of questions I'd rather just let you talk brother Express yourself You know Do your uh, thing yeah, like I said, bro, uh, just growing up over here, it ain't, it ain't make me just no fucked up ass person. It's, it's nice over here, bro. Nice trees, grass. Only problem is you make a problem, bro. You create your own problems in life, bro. That's what I was taught, shit. Man, you say you create your own problems. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So you don't feel like the problems can be created for you sometimes? In certain situations, but then again, that's where it come to you creating your own problem. So if a problem was if you if a problem was created for you, explain to me how would the problem be created for you? Wow. And it's about how you resolve it too. You, you feel know? me? Every everything is on you. You for got sure. the you got the end result of your situation. If some shit going bad, it's your alternative to fix it. For sure. You can let it be what you want it to be, but the end result is on you shit. That's how I look at this shit. For know. sure. I don't fault nobody for shit I do wrong. A part of life is acceptance, bro. And I accept a lot of shit that go on, bro. But it's like, some niggas can't do that. So what made life worth living to you? Just seeing my little bro now, I'm like, I got little bros and little cousins that's growing up and our lifestyle is like similar and it's fucked up for them. It's hard for them, so it's like, the shit I be doing, I be doing it to make it easy for us, you feel me? Like, for sure. that's why I gotta keep living. My mama call me need this for her bills and I can hit her with that. That's what make me wanna keep living. That is like, facts. That's I real. stand on business, you feel me? I'm not just a nigga out here. This, this is shit that can be vouched for, bro. My mama know this, my auntie know this, my granny know this, my cousins know this. Like, you call me, I'm coming, bro. Especially if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's worth, if it's, if it's beneficial to your life, if it's some shit that's gonna better you or help you, I'm coming, bro. You can't call me for no bullshit, though, bro. For sure. So, like, you got a big heart, but it's limits to that big heart. For sure. Hmm. It used to be, it used to be, it used to, my shit used to be open, bro. Like, I used to be, I used to be so lenient with people, bro, but it came upon a time, like, we too grown for that shit. Facts. Because life worth living, shit, now. You got things in here. What'd she say? It look like y'all got a pretty big neighborhood, man. Hell yeah. I ain't even walk all the way down now. Only reason I walk all the way down now, that's too far. So where we at now? We on 64th, live from the foe, man. Live from the foe where a lot of niggas can't go, man. 63rd crazy, but 64th raised me, bro. Dang. I got my little brother them, KKK, Long Live, BP, Boss Field, Kells, Old Jizzle. Drake, you know, this they strip right here. Most are this little bro, them block. I can't even take this from them. No. Shout out to them, shit. though. Don't get on us. Don't get on us yeah, for being over there. Clean <laughs> shit, bro. My bad, little bro. Them. I don't know where they at. They pulls been out pulling up, but. Yeah, man. For this sure. See, though, this is just the community, bro. This is all we do, bro. We do come outside, bro. We pull up, chill, bro. Don't nobody hang on no blocks no more, though, bro. So don't come through this bitch looking for nobody, shooting at no hypes, the shit goofy niggas be doing, bro. Don't nobody hang outside no more, bro. That shit old, bro. Go get you a phone or a trap, bro. Man. So Sit you think it's, down. you know, you know, a lot of people be out, uh, be saying people can't be in their hood, this, that, and the third. How important do you feel like it is to be able to come back to your neighborhood? Super important. I ain't gonna lie, that's super important. Cause you motherfuckers don't love you where you from then. What, what, you, what the fuck you do? You had to do something, you can't go back to where you from. And the only way you can't go back to where you from, you do some snake shit, some fake shit, or some Jake shit. Them three things. Snake shit, fake shit, or some Jake shit. Dang. Dang, they coming through here with the Scooby Dooby, all that, yeah. Gang, you still scared a dog, bro? I'm gonna show you what I do to that bitch on. Very, very wild. That joint look like a hyena. Animal cruelty, bro. Pulling up is like a hyena. Yeah. 
Hey, who you shooting this with, brother? Young Will, out of Trinitas, nigga. What'd you I say? Trinitas, nigga. Young Will, out of Trinitas, nigga. Let them know how long we've been locked in doing this, man. This shit been going on for years, Ski. This shit been going on for years. I can't even count. You know what I got to say on this? Damn. 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 Trenches. It is trench. You know how yeah, we coming, big man. Tobacco, man. For sure. We big stay. six three, man. What you gotta say to the people over here, man? Shit, man. This is our community. You safe over here, man? For sure. Yeah, you know we just vibing. Motherfucker finna go to the store or something. Grab some wood. Got some. Good, you know. Little right right Jammers. Right sure. right here. My nigga, little Jammers. Bro, what'd you say? Got my guy Lil Jammers outside with me, AK oh, Samaz, man. man. What's the word, brother? AK oh. Samaz, man. That's Lil Jammers back. How you feeling? Yeah, but I told you, yeah, that's that's clan them block. That's 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 his block right there, man. That's oh, uh, yeah, this your block. Yeah, that's what shit I was just posted on, man. So, what you gotta say to the people over here, man? To the youth, anything, brother? Man, I'ma let him go and talk right now. For sure. <laughs> right now. He don't rap for shit, bro. He just a smooth ass dude, man. So he on you, you barely gonna get two words out of folks. For sure. But yeah, though, bro, it's like this is what we grew up at. For real, it ain't how niggas are making save. It ain't nothing like that, bro. Everybody so got their own motion, bro. For sure. You feel like you have to grow up, bro? No, hell no. My, my shit, my people was straight. My people, my people, them was sad. It was straight. Anything I did was self inflicted I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I was that's going real. To, that's know, real. Anything I was doing was probably for the extra shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Nine times out of ten, it was for some extra shit. I kept shoes, kept clothes, kept haircuts, money. Yeah, that was just probably some extra shit. So, what influenced that extra stuff, though? Just wants, bro. Me seeing different shoes. I got this pair of shoes, but damn, I want them too. Yeah, now I gotta go bust me a move, bro. Now I gotta sure. bust me a move. Now I gotta figure out my route. For sure. Yeah, this shit been the same, bro, since since ages and ages. There was some niggas over here. I ain't here no more. A lot of niggas come and go, bro. That's, that's how the streets go, but that's what that's what the streets taught me, though. You come and go, bro. You come and go, bro. 100%. When you come, you gotta come correct at all times, bro. 100%. And as far as pushing a piece, okay. start within, bro. Niggas be having problems within their inner circle and their family and crowd of people they be with. And don't be fixing that shit first. So, push the peace. Let y'all enemies start within y'all self, bro. Fix right. y'all self first, brother. A lot of you niggas got an order out here, B. So you feel like you got to get that inner peace before you can even sure. start trying to go outside. Sure. Can't even. Imagine trying to pop out with a nigga you can't trust. I'm riding a car with a nigga I can't trust. Some people don't even trust they self. You feel me? I'm literally riding a car with a nigga I can't trust. Let alone, we finna go do some shit. How can I even go trust you to do some shit, Gene? We don't even trust each other. Facts. It'll never be no, you gotta fix your, fix your inner self, B. So what's bigger, love or trust? Trust. You can love me all you want. <laughs> I love a lot of people, but do I trust them? Hell no. Trust That's me. That's real. Trust me. So how do you, what's ways you could learn that, <laughs> that trust? Jinky, bro. Huh? What's ways you can learn that trust? Just go out bonds, bro. Build <laughs> he them just bonds. just right here with that. Yeah, now you got to build them bonds with people, bro. For sure. Build bonds, bro. For sure. That'd be like, it'd be another thing. Hey, you rappers, man. Stop asking for money, man, for features without the bond, bro. I don't want to do no song with no nigga. I don't give a fuck how much you want, how much I want, nigga. If you know you fucked up in these streets and you your name bad, bro, I'm trying to charge niggas with features and even do songs with niggas, bro. Facts. Get your shit together, bro. Cause that shit bad, bro. Nobody got time for that shit, bro. Niggas, man. Cheap eyes, petty eyes, <laughs> niggas, man. Yeah, though, bro. What's the message to the upcoming artists out here, man? Upcoming artists, just keep grinding, bro. Don't dick ride. Don't do no fake shit. Just be you. Be genuine, bro. And make everything come from your heart. And 
this man what you say bro everybody rap but do they really mean what they rapping bro oh Oh, so what you got to say to this ain't on no trolling or controversial stuff. I'll make that clear. What you got to say to the people that's rap capping out here, man, on a serious note? I pray that shit get you on. I pray that shit get you on, shit. And if you out here dissing and you ain't no gangster for real, you got a place for your ass, boy. Yeah. I hope that shit get you on, though. I was a rap captain. I hope it get you on, bro. So, if you go back in time, would you have this in your songs? I, I have this in my songs. I got old this songs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you could go back in time, would you have done it still? I don't regret shit I ever did or said. Because at that moment and that time, it was definitely meant. For sure. But, will I... When I go back and change some of the shit I said, yeah, hell yeah, I'll reword it. Cause I'm Ray Raw now. I know I ain't even gotta say niggas' names to even make it, make it hard. So now it's like, I'm actually coming back. Talking way more shit. I got way harder shit. I don't gotta diss people. I don't, I don't name drop none of that shit. I be outside, bro. And when I do come outside, it's not for no, Bullshit is for productive purpose. I make purpose every day in my life, bro. Every day I wake up. I got three phones, bro. Bills don't pay themselves, bro. I got all type of shit going on, bro. Like every day I need to wake up, it gotta be about a dollar, bro. It's not gonna ever be me waking up. Oh no bullshit. It be days like that, but I always got money on my mind. Did this area teach you hustle? Nope. I ain't learned about hustling until I started going to the birds. Dang. God. I ain't learned how to hustle so I went to the bird. Dang, that's yeah. crazy. Shout out to birds. We was, we was hustling out here, but it was like we was hustling backwards because we ain't really know. Like, we ain't know what we was doing. We was just doing it, trying to make some money. For sure. Went to the bird, nigga gonna give you a whole operation. I don't know, this how you do this one. Niggas just doing that type of shit out there. So, like, that's why I learned how to hustle shit. This my big brother, so. Majority of the shit we did together, shit. What's your name, brother? My fucking cousin. Call down, shit. D. For sure. Right, Pleasure down, to D. meet you, brother. For sure, man. Yeah. Appreciate you having us. You feel me? You know, you know we fuck with you, man. Yeah, that's love, man. Been like that for long. Shout out my little bro, Spotto Bees, yeah. Smooth Topo. I'm pissed. I ain't here right now. They gonna be outside one of these days. Yeah, shout out Spotto. I ain't seen him in years, yeah, man. Yeah, for Everybody, sure. Matter of fact, hold yeah, on, hold yeah. on. I'm finna call Bloody right now. Get him on a, yeah, get him on the call. Name, I'm full name. Name. Hey, shout out uh my. Uh, young Will too, bro. Cause we been supposed to did this, bro. It was, it was just of, timing, you know. Yeah, it was a lot of, con a lot of confusion on the timing, bro. I supposed to did a lot of interviews with a lot of people. They be thinking I will be bapping, bro. I don't be bapping. Hey, yeah. on the couch. I don't be bapping, bro. I got my Young Will here in the trenches with it. Yeah, I, was, I be Where we at, man? Where bro. we at? at City Third right now on Mozart right now. We on Disney. Yeah, across Cali. We we yeah, across Cali. Cross Western. No cross Western. No, cross Western. no that ain't no dissing nothing, but not. Ain't no dissing or no shit like you that. Feel but me? We, we from California. It's across Cali. We from Cali. Cali it's crazy, man. Right, what sure. you got to say to the people, Spot OBs, man? We on this bitch with uh, Young Will, man. Big six three hundred games. Fuck the rack, Ote. Nah, no, no, no dissing. <laughs> Folks, ask to get right on bullshit. Damn. Damn. You know I'm on some positive stuff. We, 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 hey, we. Yeah. 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 Big clan, big clan. We got four rappers, four slammers over here. I'm gonna tell you, let you know. Go. For sure. What you want? What you want? See, I'm probably. I think I'm gonna keep that in there too, though, cause check it out. I want people to realize this ain't fabricated. You see, and then I want people to realize that I, it's respect with it too, because at the end sure. of the day, like- I already told bro, them you ain't come out here for that. You, bro, them know that the, the niggas yeah, you see out here, oh bro, bro, I don't think we do the dissing anyways. Man. We don't be on- We don't do no dissing. Huh? No, I told him I was coming out at one, Carl yeah, Bali. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we done, they can walk to the gas station. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And before See, I... Before I was yeah. telling you, hey. this mutual grounds, bro, the gas station, bro, that's common grounds, bro. I just want to say this, long live freak, man. Long live freak, for yeah, sure. Long live my uncle, man. Another nigga when ain't did shit to nobody. All the sisters killing, man. You niggas gotta stop, bro. You niggas be happy to shoot y'all gun, bro. 
everybody got guns, bro. Motherfucker just started killing random people, though, gang. That's weird shit. Niggas kill anybody, bro. Who does shit like that, bro? Who raised you niggas, bro? Who birthed you niggas? Niggas don't got no man, bro. Fuck the heart. Fuck all the conscious shit. That ain't gangster, bro. Killing random people is not gangster, bro. I don't give a fuck if they around. We right now, we we on 64th, 63rd of Mozart. Long live OJ, this is Jizzle Block. Down now on 65th, man. Long live my long live my little brother, King DT, man. So see, I got the 1228 RIP DT on my neck, man. You say 1228? 1228, December 28, 2011. Wow. Yeah. So what's some history, what's some little history of this area? History of this area, man, you know, I grew up Grew up over here, born and raised, man. 20 plus years, you feel me? Uh, the history shit. Oh, 67 used to be, used to be 7-Eleven, you feel me? Before it was the back store and shit, you know, mm. shit like that. Then we had a restaurants around here, Yarko's, motherfucking uh, Golden's, you feel me? That shit like that clothes, that shit changed now. That's a whole new, I know, just took different restaurant. I sold this to Papa T's and shit. Papa T, oh yeah, gotta fuck with Papa T's. That'd be right there forever. For sure. some quick shit, just trying to get a bite to eat. You know? So you feel like food really brought people together in this neighborhood or nah? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. It brought us together with the Mexicans. You feel me? You know they got the Mexican corn. They, yeah. they had all type of shit going on. I know I fuck with that shit heavy, you know? On oh, me. So what's your favorite thing to big your back with, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. You know I fuck with the uh, lamb chops and shit like oh, that. Ah, yeah. I used to big my back with them too. You drop, you drop. Uh, I see, I see. This motherfucker. Wendy, it's here. Where's this from? Uh, see what? That's back. Some goddamn ocean, man. That's real kill, man. Yeah, niggas. Well, yeah. I got a question for you. If you go back in time, would you still smoke? Hell yeah, man. I, lie, I think we. I think we help me cope cope with life, bro. We have still I feel like I got it, but locked up, I ain't had no weed. For real? For real, bro. Get angry without the weed, bro. What about any other? I ain't something. big on drugs like that. I just smoke. For sure, and like. Drink liquor and shit. You yeah, know, I'm, shit like yeah. That. I'm asking really this because, like, you know, it's been a heavy epidemic on people dying from overdoses, all types of stuff now, man. Yeah, we, we are. So, what y'all got to say about that? If you get a chance, bro, say no to drugs. Say no to drugs. Yeah. And, and, and if you is, man, make sure, make sure they the real things, man. You for know? sure, for sure. Go buy some fentanyl testers. And, and, and use that a minimum, bro. I don't really do enough to tell a motherfucker, oh, yeah. Man, I don't do enough to tell nobody do this, do this or that. Facts. No, I'm just saying that because, you know, the youth need to hear that too because, like, in the music, that stuff get glorified now, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I can't really tell you, bro, because when I be seeing people do be like, damn. Come on, you what type of question? You off the shits, B. <laughs> sure, you know where y'all sure. be. Yeah, you off the shits. As soon as I see niggas doing we shit like that. We on Mozart. I'm over with yeah, it. You off the shits, buddy. Yeah, we in the hood, man. Fuck you thought. Fuck you thought we was pump faking, man. Yeah, but besides that shit, to each his own, bro. I don't judge nobody off the. No, I ain't saying we judging or nothing either. We ain't gonna yeah, do it. No, 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 no. Hell yeah, yeah, you know how that shit be. Yeah, I, I done sure. did, it, bro. Damn. But I ain't, you feel me? I don't do them. Let's get this know. clip. Mook ain't no hype, y'all. Mook, nah, Mook ain't no Mook hype, man. Mook ain't no hype, bro. <laughs> hey, what I'm makes you a hype? For sure. Because I know some functional hypes, bro. That's true. Que pasa, wey, papa? What happened, man? Who beats your word? Come here. Come here. Bro. Look, I told you it'd be wild shit going on. He got scraped up. He got scraped up, he walking through the trenches like it ain't happened. What we talking about? Good, Frank. <laughs> what Bob say? Man, I see you, you say, when was the last time you came back to your community? I don't know, when the last time I been through this bitch? But it seems like everybody know you still through here, man. Come on, see this? Me, see this? Come on, man. <laughs> Been here since been now, man. You say been here since been now. Since been now, bro. I been here, bro. Sarah, you got contacts in? 
Oh, 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 you cut your damn eyelashes off? Yeah, I took my eyelashes. You over whooping, G. You whooping. I was. I was. I was fake. I was so fake. Why you do that though? Coat. She talking about that shit like a chinchilla coat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know shit till he raised the bell. Man, we, we almost good though, for real. We gonna have to do it. We gonna keep going with these. They gotta know that, man. Yeah, for sure. Hey, let me see your light up, yeah? Hell yeah. Anything bro. else you gotta get off your chest before we get up on out of here, brother? Keep grinding, man. Anybody got something they wanna do, just keep grinding, bro. Stay down till you come up. And not for stay sure. down till you come up and do some fool shit. But stay down till you come up, man, and do the right shit, bro. For no sure. time gonna happen, man. Don't hate on nobody, don't wait on nobody. Matter of fact, I got one more thing I need you to do for me, brother. You know you're an artist. You gotta go acapella right now on the block. I call it block acapella, you feel me? What's something you can rap for us? Block acapella, man. Damn, how should I come? Uh, how should he come? trying to come, though. Like, how you want him to come? I want him man. to speak that real yeah. French. Gang, how could I switch on the niggas I die for? Take my stand, raise the hand and the laugh for. When it crack, I'ma load up a staff for. We lost members the same ones we cried for. Remember spending them niggas I had though. Like you told me forever, you lied though. I miss OJ in detail, I tried bro. I'm a beast in these streets, I ain't lying though. Let them least stay at peace, I ain't mad though. That little bitch, she a freak, she ain't mad though. Put the whole up for least, she ain't sad though. Hope they work at the spot from behind though. Fresh out the road, gotta book me a sweet. Don't order me something to eat. Ain't posting I'm home, cause niggas be wrong and come put a gun in your cheek. And fuck around, be your best friend. If I might do it, yeah. That's why I've been bullied with Brody. Cause finally for life at the end, my bro do a life in the pen. If he's he gotta hit life through a pen. That petty ass phone can't be on a long secure. to swipe me again. We still getting back in. Send bro some back ends. Brought out the Glock cause we couldn't get the Mac in. Bitch, I'm the Mac man. Jack got a sack in. Shot in the morning, that need that little back end. Yeah, we get this bitch like that, man. Shoot this bitch up, we need that thing. On phone So I'm loud with that pipe, they gon' scare that thing. Dang, he's still going. On phone no. Know that, that's one of them real. And just let them motherfucking know, that's one of them real joints, man. For sure. One of them real joints, man. So break down a bar two up in there, like that something that stuck out to you, that really meant a lot to you. How could I switch on the niggas I die for? Take my take the stand, raise my hand, and then laugh for it. How could I switch up on them people I started with, bro? How could I change oh, on no. the niggas that was right here willing to die for me with this shit, bro? How could I do that? You feel me? Like, how could I? For that sure. wouldn't make me me no more. I wouldn't even be me. Once you do some shit like that, you ain't even you no more. Damn. You feel me? Oh boy, shit. Hey, let's see. Let me. That's why I said, how could I? How could I do that? How could I switch up on my people, bro? How could I? Leave my niggas, how could I? It's a lot of niggas that did that, you feel me? Switched up on the gang, you know, like, it's a lot of niggas that did that. How could you do that though? When these the same niggas you swore to laugh for, die for, whatever. You when took you, a oath with you your brothers me? before when, you took a yeah, oath for anything bro. else. Right? Like, how could you do that? 100%. I never traded the jerseys, bro. It could be 20 points down on the board, we could lose. I'm gonna keep my same jersey on, go to the locker room. Clap it up like we won and come back hard the next game. Man, this shit. This Niggas a lot get done, the nasty trap. Turn the game off. Dang. Oh, man, keep playing. See if you can come back. You come up, man. Same nigga since day one. Just, a, just the community, man. For sure. I appreciate y'all you know? too, man. For real. Right, so we appreciate you too. You know, y'all influence me in a lot, you know? For real. Oh, for sure. We appreciate you. Yeah, I love.